How to get water if the world is dead, the rivers smell like batteries, and your tongue feels like sandpaper. The taps went dry weeks ago, the bottled stuff's been looted since day one. The rain? Yeah, it hisses when it hits the ground and leaves little burn holes in your jacket. Your lips are cracking, your brain's going fuzzy, and the last person who offered you a drink had three extra teeth in the wrong place. The kind of wrong that makes you walk away thirsty. Time to make your own drinkable water before your organs start filing complaints. Find the dirtiest, most suspicious puddle you can. Or swamp juice. Or melted snow scraped from an abandoned car hood. As you want. Pour it into a metal pot. Not plastic, unless you like drinking microplastics, regret, and maybe a side of cancer. Balance that pot over a fire made from whatever burns without screaming too loud. Wood, books, parts of a broken chair, whatever you find. Tear off a car's rubber tubing, jam one end over the pot's lid, and run it into a second container. Doesn't matter if it's a glass jar, a dented cooking pot, or the hollowed skull of your enemies. Boil the water until it's steaming like a toxic sauna. The vapor snakes through the tube, cools, and drips into your container. That's your lifeline. Here's the science part. They don't put on survival posters. Steam leaves the heavy junk behind. Bacteria, dirt, even most chemical nasties. Radiation? Not so much, but hey, you'll still die slower, isn't it? What you collect? Just pure H2O. Sip it slow. No bottled water? No problem. Just science, trash, and sheer survival stubbornness.